welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at prefix naming and doing some practice examples. I already have a video of talking you through the process of prefix naming on my channel which I will link below. This video is to help you get some practice at using that technique. So pause the video now and see if you can fill in this table. So the prefixes that we have are mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, and they are for numbers of atoms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So try using that table to allow you to write the formula for the following compounds. Pause the video now. So the steps that we use to write out the formula for prefix names are to first of all identify the symbols for the elements that are present. So here we have carbon and oxygen and then insert the numbers into the name for each of the prefixes. So carbon doesn't have a prefix so we leave that as one and dioxide is two oxygens. For B we have nitrogen monoxide so we have N for nitrogen and O for oxygen and we have no prefixes here. Where the prefix is mono for one, we don't need to put in the number. For C, we have uranium, which is U, and hexafluoride, which is F. We have no prefix for uranium, so we leave it as one, and hexa is six for the fluoride. For carbon tetrabromide, we have C for carbon and Br for bromide. We have no prefix on the carbon, but we do on the bromide and it's four for tetra. And then lastly, we have sulfur trioxide, S for sulfur, O for oxygen, and a three for the tri of the trioxide. Let's try going the other way. See if you can use the prefixes to give names to each of these compounds. Pause the video now. So in this first example, we have carbon and oxygen and we have one of each. So the name of this one will be carbon monoxide. We often use prefixes with the oxides as we can have more than one oxygen attached. Here we have two nitrogens and four oxygens. So the prefix for two is di and then we have nitrogen. So we have a four for the oxygens so we have tetra oxide. In the next one, we have Xe, which is xenon. And then we have six, hexa, and that is fluoride. Here we have Si, which is silicon. And we have two oxygens, so dioxide. And then finally, we have S for sulfur and we have two oxygens, dioxide. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.